All right, I'm here with my main man at Gringolandia Studios in Pilsen, Southside, Chicago, Illinois, USA, Mark Nelson. We went to school together, and ever since we were in school, he was building these awesome installations that used to blow my mind. He was one of the most talented of all of us. So what's happening, man? Thank you for that. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's the truth. It's good to have you here, Marcus. I mean, you know. It's the truth. Tell me, show me this. What you got going on? This is uh, an altarpiece that was for my father that was at the National Museum of Mexican Art down the street. During uh, during COVID in 2020, it was uh, part of the Day of the Dead show. But Let me get a good shot of it. Let me, I'm going to get a close-up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the pandemic. So my dad, being a career Navy officer... He served on a lot of ships, and because his favorite ship was the USS St. Paul, CA-73, I did a, uh, I carved a ship out of wood for the top of the uh, altar, and um, you know, it centers around the uh, pre-Columbian, ancient Mexican uh, tradition, uh, uh, well, the th uh, how one passes into death. So to go to death, you, uh, to die means to go to Miklan and the underworld, and you have to go on a journey. And when you meet this river, uh, there's a dog on the other side of the river that's supposed to be connected to your spirit. And that dog will swim over to the river to get you and bring you to the other side to begin the next series of quests that you go upon to get the highest position you can in the uh, afterlife. But, you know, here we got uh, some article, uh, some sign notes, and um, some stuff from the movie they made on my dad's ship. The USS St. Paul was uh, in harm's way starring John Wayne and Kirk Douglas. And Douglas was assigned to my dad's cabin as his roommate for the shooting of the movie. Otto Preminger was the director. I never met Mr. Douglas. My dad stayed in touch with him over the years. But I did get to meet Otto Preminger, the director, when we were kids uh, stationed in Hawaii. He called my dad and had us come down to the hotel and have dinner with him. And all I knew is we were having dinner with Mr. Freeze because he had played Mr. Freeze on the Batman TV That was the dude show. that played Mr. Freeze? All right, cool. And so my dad... you got to be a certain age to my, know about that Mr. Freeze. I was nine years yeah. old at the time. Yeah. And my dad, being at sea and going back and forth to Vietnam, had no clue about even, you know, modern pop culture, right? Right. So first he gets upset, like I'm insulting Mr. Preminger, you know, this international movie director. And my dad, like, stands up like, you know, bam! And... and she goes, oh, no, Josh, Josh, in his German accent. He goes, your son is right. My children talked me into playing the role. Because it was like real hip to be a villain on the Batman TV show in the 60s. Like all the big stars. I remember, man, that joint was on fire, man. I used to live for that. You have, yeah. Bam, all of that. Yeah, yeah. So you had some real talent, I mean, playing villains. Burgess Meredith, who played the Penguin. He actually was in harm's way as one of the naval officers. Uh, Carol O'Connor, who we know for all one the of my family. favorites, yeah. He uh, played one of the naval officers. John uh, Wayne played the uh, head commodore or admiral. Uh, Kirk Douglas, of course, he was one, you know, one of the actors. And you had um, Dana Andrews. He was a big time actor back then. Anyway, it was made in '63, uh, I believe. So. Yeah, that was my Beautiful. dad's claim to fame. And over here, he got his two families. This is us with my mom. Uh, we were living in Yokohama, Japan at the time from uh, 1960 to 62. And then to the right is uh, my father's second wife, Sandy, and my uh, half-siblings, as you might call them. That's, um, so on the left, we got myself, my brother David, and Josh. And on the right, we have my half-siblings, Eve, Masha, Chaim, and Ari. So they got more into the uh, 
the benefits of my father's culture than we did. My mom wished us off to be baptized as Catholics before my dad could have a say in it. Your father's Jewish? My father is Jewish, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is actually a picture of him from when he was a child. Mm -hmm. This is one of his yarmulkes. And I think that these two candelabras from the Sabbath, I think those came th from my grandparents, who I never really, you know, I only met as an 18-month-old. Um, they both, um, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of connection with them. But there's Russian writing in gold below it, so I'm pretty sure they brought them over. Man, that's in the fantastic, early 1900s. Man. That's fantastic, man. And also, in the, my dad's piece. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to do those, all those NASA missions, so they had to be on standby to recover capsules that landed in the water. So that was a pretty cool thing to be uh, involved in. Yeah, man, that's a fantastic piece. You know what? I'm going to stop right here because this piece alone deserves its space.